Okay, so now we'll do a shimmer. Um, the difference between a shimmer and a metallic. Metallic's kind of a chrome. Uh, those products have a tendency to um, fade or tarnish in the wash. Uh, the silver metallic will look really chromey when you get it at home and then you wash it a couple times and it turns to gray. Adding a shimmer will, won't do that. It's got a small, small particle as opposed to a glitter which will have a very, very large particle. Okay? So we're doing a silver shimmer over here. And it's an open mesh, about an 86, but it's got extra emulsion on there. It's got a good thickness of layer of emulsion. And I have to find it. The shimmers come in only co the color of the shimmer, or can you mix the color? Well, we're going to show you that, yes. Oh, we can make a color out of it. this to register right now. Pellon, silver, 86 mesh, thick emulsion, silver metallic. I'm going to flash it. Two color, silver, uh, shimmer. Uh, we got silver shimmer and a Vegas gold. Silver shimmers on an 86 with thick emulsion. I'm going to flash it. Something you might know about the metallics and shimmers and glitters, they reflect the heat just like a mirror does. So you may find that it takes a little extra longer time to flash it or cure it in an oven. do with that is take the silver out. Okay, so what we're going to do here is take a color concentrate blue, a nice royal blue, and add a little bit of that to the silver. It doesn't take much, and the more you add, the more you're uh, hiding the reflectivity. You're covering up the, re the, the silver mirror. So just a little bit of touch, just to, uh, just to give it a little flavor. And you don't want to go overboard on the PCs because uh, PCs are not curable. So the pigment concentrates in the plastisol, think of these as the, the pigments that they use to, to mix down to make your, your actual ink colors. So if you go overboard on the PC, if you go overboard on the PC, what will happen is it'll wash off, it'll wash off in your dryer, ruin your load of laundry essentially. So, you know, and there's, there have been thousands of garments ran you know, with people that just grab a black off the shelf and go, all right, you know, I got the black, let's go. Because there's really, if you look at it, it's easy to see how somebody could mistake that as just a normal plastisol, when in reality, this is the, this is the essence, this is the core. So we're just gonna take a, a slight amount of this blue. You can see it really starts to turn a beautiful color, very brilliant. Nice and shimmery, so. It's kind of like cheating with foil. Yeah, exactly, like a faux foil. Uh, a lot of people refer to this as like a candy, you know, like a candy-coated car color, like a, like a candy red or a candy blue. So check out the brilliance. It's just phenomenal.
and it won't lose any of that when printed to the garment. Uh, it's since it's, we're laying down such a thick deposit, you don't need to underbase. You just print it direct. I'll take the test palettes. I run off the test palette of every job that I do and save it. I'll catalog it. But I'll take a binder because you can buy the, the oversized binders, punch some holes in it, so then you can flip through like a catalog. So really a good sales tool, um, just a nice thing to have around. Simple, right? You know, you can do that right in front of the customer. Oh, I, you know, can you do something with that? Well, let me try. You know, again, using all the tools available to you. As a sales technique, uh, does the additives actually ex extend your life or your, of your ink itself? I mean, because you're not using so much ink or the cost yeah, the that, that's a very good point. There are some additives that are more expensive, puff, dulling suede. These are expensive additives, so those increase the cost of your plastisol. Well, now you look at the opposite end of the spectrum. Reducer is cheaper than plastisol. It's just a, it's a suspender base, essentially. So you, you charge the customer more for the distressed print, but then in reality, you're getting it on both sides because you're using an ink that is much less expensive because you broke it down, broke down the base. So, yeah, um, it's, it really depends on the additive at that point, but yes. Let's say you add puff, you don't necessarily have to put 10 times more ink on the shirt. It does puff better with more ink, though, right. and you should be able to uh, charge the customer. You know, you're, you, you may be only adding instead of two cents, four cents, but yeah. you're charging 50 to a dollar more. Yeah. For the added value. Yeah, and your gallon's going to extend out. So, yeah. Poor bang. Picked up on things. These hateful things. Because home ain't where I back here to take it back there maybe I'm hard